Hi everyone, welcome to the very first video on Albert, the multi-platform and cross-platform editor for extended Commodore 64 images. This is one of the projects I worked at during the Christmas break and uh, I got pretty much all the engine written at the time. Um, this was a co-op with Joachim the Sarge. Uh, who has been responsible for the UI design but also for the user experience and the testing. I'm saying multi-platform because you are seeing the Windows 64 bit uh, version of uh, the editor where Joachim uh, has been um, given the macOS version of it um, and he's been testing um, pretty much with that version for quite some time. Again, the tool uses GTK, but this time, as I said, is the 64-bit version of it, and it's the latest uh, in the Tudac series. And there is a reason for that. I'll probably comment on that at some point. So this is uh, how the tool uh, presents itself uh, once you open a file, of course. And uh, in this in this case, I opened. Uh, the sample dot dot sample dot alp and uh, as you might appreciate uh, the tool has its own project file with its own format and what it does it stores all the work stages in the project uh, in this case there aren't any work stages it's just the final product and um, that's because at some point I did clear the history of changes but if you want you can pretty much uh, have an unlimited amount of uh, undo and redo steps in, uh, in your artwork and then what you can do is save the work stages independently and make a time lapse of your work which is something that Joachim has been doing uh, a couple of times now I think other options are you can export uh, a P PNG image uh, of your work um, that's for the screenshot to upload to uh, as an example CSDB. Uh, you can export to PRG, which means an executable one, similar to what um, my other tool on this subject on extended pictures does. And if you have got a koala image or you know multicolor image in any of the supported formats, you can import that. You can import sprites if you already have worked at them outside of, uh, of the tool but the point of the editor is that you can uh, directly work on uh, the extended picture and as you can see in the side borders there are sprites so you will be editing those sprites directly in this tool and in the middle there is a multicolor bitmap um, worth your note control and home uh, gives me the best fit for the window uh, this is a preview area that I can move around independently of um, everything else and um, we will get to the scripting window later on but uh, for the time being uh, let's uh, let's focus on the main window as I said um, very basic uh, editing uh, capabilities include editing of the sprites uh, with a brush you can also delete what uh, you are seeing there is a flood fill tool there is a color picker tool there is a hand tool selection tool is not yet finished and then what you can do is to edit the, the sprite multicolors um, the global ones uh, with these controls and then you can uh, edit the background color as I said there are limit unlimited undo and redos so let's undo this that I've done and uh, let's do something a little bit uh, more interesting um, there is a zoom to uh, mouse position uh, option here and uh, the maximum one can zoom in is 36 times you can see the grid um, pretty much at all levels of magnification uh, starting for from 4 by yeah, the pixel grid and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one pretty much to the center of the area and then what I'm gonna do is to press R and off you go. I 
can rotate the canvas and there is a reason I'm doing that and I'll show it to you in a second uh, what I want to do is to just scribble over what's already there uh, let's say this and yeah, this one can see it comes pretty natural it's not easy but really comes natural to draw in rotated mode and uh, what happens is uh, that uh, I can write horizontally but because the canvas is rotated what happens is that uh, I've scribbled uh, at an angle very useful for doing this sort of work uh, then if I want to bring the canvas back to the original position what I can do is get steps by pressing shift and that moves uh, the canvas back back to zero degrees uh, of rotation then from there usual thing um, can have a look at the flood field tool uh, let me find the color tool feel yep works pretty much as every other tool and again if I don't like what I just did I can undo an, an unlimited amount of times um, so that's about that and uh, let's have a look at something that I really wanted to get in and uh, that's the scripting window uh, where you can write your own Lua scripts this one is something that um, I shared with Joachim so he's um, he has done um, um, a video, a teaser video uh, using the animation that was produced by this script um, let's give it a go and see what happens well that was fast but let's, let's recap a second what, uh, what went on here So essentially, I went a bit too far uh, behind. So essentially, what happened is that um, I created an animation that has no direct use on the Commodore 64 if you want, uh, but it was all scripted. And Joachim has done a video of this, um, you know, putting all the frames, exporting all the frames, and. Uh, doing an animation uh, again as a teaser video and what I can do is if I go back again to the previous work the day of the tentacle what I can do yeah now I can say okay well I want the animation with the black background and then I just run it that's uh, this this um, comes uh, as a bit more familiar now hopefully and again I can, well, if I get the right color, I can scribble over uh, as much as I please. Then can undo and get back to where I was. Um, if I don't like uh, what the script has produced. So, yeah, just a quick video to show uh, what's coming um, and that uh, there is hope if you wish to create uh, artwork for the Commodore 64 that um, spans the side borders and you don't want to assemble it with my other tool but you want to edit it, edit it uh, natively uh, with the restriction of the case but still without having to jump through different applications for doing the job that's about it Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.